Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys the easiest way to make your own custom themes on your PS Vita. So just keep in mind, this is more wallpaper than custom themes. Um, I won't show you how to put like custom icons and music in this video. I will hopefully have a video on that soon. This is just the really quick and easy way um, on how to customize your PS Vita. So what you guys want to do first is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. And then once Vita Shell loads, Press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and then I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your computer and your PS Vita is connected, you just want to head over to your internet browser. Now this is the exact size for my PS Vita screen. You guys can Google yours and find the exact size. I use the original OLED screen, um, so this is the size that I will be using, and many of you will probably use this size as well. So you want to go to Google Images and just find any wallpaper you like the look of. I'm just gonna choose this one right here because I like the look of it. So just find the picture, right click, select save image as now when you save it you want to make sure it's a png file so just put dot png at the end and just just save it as whatever you like so i'm just going to save this image right now now once it has finished downloading go to your pc's downloads folder or wherever you put a picture just find it right click it and do open with and then you can choose any um, picture editing software really i'm just going to choose microsoft paint because this one's really basic and most of you guys will have this installed anyway so once you're on the picture in paint, just go to the size option right here, click on that, go to pixels, and then this is where we type in our PS Vita screen size. So this one is 960, so we'd put 960, and then make sure this box is unticked, and then by 544. So then we just click on OK, and this is going to resize it to our PS Vita's screen size. So what we do from here is just simply save it, file, save, and now we can close out of paint. So we have now got the picture in the correct size for our PS Vita wallpaper. So I'm going to make, drag it into my folder. I've already made a folder just called PS Vita wallpaper. It's got all the pictures in which I wish to use as my custom wallpaper. So now we've got all these pictures. I'm just gonna copy my whole folder, go onto your PS Vita, go to the view tab at the top, select hidden items. And now you're looking for the picture folder. So go into this one and then just right click and paste. So now we have pasted in our PS Vita wallpaper folder, we can head back over to the PS Vita and I will show you guys what these themes look like. Okay guys, so back on our PS Vita, we can now go onto our UXO and find the file that we copied across. So it will be inside of picture and then it should be this one right here, PS Vita wallpaper. So press X to go onto it and this is going to display all of our pictures. So the method for getting these into our pictures folder is actually a bit strange. But what you do, find your picture, press X on it and then just press the start button and then press the home button. What this is going to do is just take a screenshot of the picture. So then just press circle and just do this on every one which you wish to have in your pictures folder. So I'm just going to speed this bit up. Right, so once you've got a screenshot of everything, just go all the way back to the main menu, press the PS button, and just close out of Vita Shell. Next, go up to your system settings, and this is where you want to apply a custom theme where you like the audio and the um, icons for. So if you scroll down, go into theme and background, go into theme. I've got this one applied because I like the song for this one, and I really like the icons. So we can now close out of system settings once you've got a theme. And now we're just going to start applying them. So just hold down on the screen, click on this option right here, go on to camera, go on to all, and now you can find the screenshots that you took. So let's just apply this one right here. It's going to say please wait. And then it will apply like that. So this is pretty much how you make your own custom theme, um, the really easy method. I know it's kind of like a lazy method, um, but this is a really re easy way um, on how to customize your PS Vita without having to make all the icons and stuff because it does actually take a long time. Um, unless you want them all basic like this, if you want pictures for them, um, it can actually take a very long time. So 
So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.